Good morning, beautiful world. Today is going to be an absolutely productive day. Okay, so first of all, we have this. Now you're probably wondering, what is it? Well, for one thing, this is a coconut. And this beautiful thing is so beautiful because it has this. It's a pop tap. And you're probably wondering why does a coconut have a pop tap? Well, because it has a straw underneath. And the pop tap actually helps you to <laughs> Surprise, surprise, pop the coconut and make a hole in it so that you can drink what's inside the coconut. Ta da! So let's try this. I've never tried one of these before. Like, I mean, I've had coconut before, I mean, coconut water, whatever. But I've never tried this before. Okay, so let's try. Oh, huh. it just comes off, and then, and I guess because like the inside is just like coconut meat, so you kind of just poke a hole in it. It's already water coming out. And it's really good, so, like, I mean, for a first time, like, I mean, there's not that much water inside this coconut, but, you know, it's pretty good. Oh, there is, there is more water. So this is pretty cool for somebody who can't really crack open a coconut uh, just on a regular basis. Uh, this is called Organic Genuine Coconut. Uh, I don't know where you buy this because my mom bought this. Um, I guess you can Google to find out where you can buy it. The cool thing about this is that if you have time, you can crack open, you can crack this open afterwards and eat the meat that's inside. This is I think better than having orange juice in the morning. And if you know me, you know I love orange juice. Okay, I think I'm done with all the coconut water that's in there. So definitely try this because it's awesome. So, yeah. <laughs> Love you guys. See you soon. This is a plate of jalapeno poppers. This is a plate of mac and cheese balls. They're both vegan. It's ranch. And the red stuff is barbecue sauce. It's beautiful. Thank mm -hmm. you.
is in inside. What's up, what's up, what's up? So, now that you've seen what I ate today, it's time to tell you what happened today. So basically, I hung out with a friend of mine uh, who's also a YouTuber, Ice King, if you want to see his gaming channel. Um, basically, just hung out, you know, ate food, talked about some video ideas, made some jokes, um, kind of just walked along Queen just kind of saw stuff and played Pokemon. Um yeah pretty much just hung out. Cool dude. Um the walking was probably not a good idea because of the pain I've pretty much been having for quite a while now. So here's the deal. So I started having this pain Monday night. Uh, I had pain in my lower abdomen on my right side. So, of course, I was like, okay, this is just a little bit of pain. It's probably nothing. Um, and, you know, I ate a lot. That's, that's what I thought. So next day, pain was like way worse. I woke up extreme pain, basically. Um, and uh, then I thought, oh, holy crap, maybe this is appendicitis or something. So I was looking up the symptoms for appendicitis. And so I had the pain, I had the nausea too. Um, I, I felt like I was gonna puke basically when I woke up. Um, uh, pretty much, yeah, had the pain, and it kind of went away throughout the day on Tuesday, and then next day, I had pain in my lower back on the same side, right side, and it, it just, like, felt like how it usually feels, because I have ovarian cysts on both sides. And anybody who has ovarian cysts, <sighs> I feel your pain, literally, because I I know what it feels like. Um, basically, for people who don't know, ovarian cysts are actually very common for women my age. Um, yeah, they're not fun. The they just, they hurt a lot. Um, basically, I thought the pain was just over and just being went away. Uh, the pain went away that night. And, well, yesterday. And the pain today, when I woke up, was both in the front abdomen, lower abdomen, and kind of in the middle as well. Um, I mean, like, kind of midsection as well. I mean, between my ribs and my lower abdomen, or whatever. Uh, and also in the back, lower back, on the right side. I've been, it's been driving me crazy. So, basically, um, I've decided I'm going to get tests, I'm going to get an ultrasound. I have to get an ultrasound because, I mean, something could be seriously wrong, obviously. And I'm gonna do it on Monday because, you know, today is, well, technically Friday because it's like 2 a.m. or something. Uh, but... I'm gonna do it on Monday because Friday gets filled 
in the hospitals and all the doctor's offices with like all the crazy people and the weekends are like so cool in the hospital with all the crazy people so Monday is a fairly slow day and so I want to get it done on Monday because at least maybe I can get the results by Friday if I'm lucky or even Thursday you know <sighs> Just find out what's going on, and I'm still waiting for tests to find out if something's up with my brain. If I might have lupus, or something else, you know, because we have no idea. Like the doctors have no idea what caused my seizures. Why they just randomly started when I was uh, 13? Did was it? Was I 13? Yeah, I was 13 when they started. And, you know, it's just... Crazy. Anyway. So, I was talking about my day. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny how I can, I guess, trail on. Um, I managed to fall asleep twice in bathrooms today because I was so tired um yeah I took my dogs out today this morning and it's probably the longest walk that they've had in a while I wanted to give them a, a long enough walk so that you know they could have enough exercise and poop everything out so I wouldn't you know feel guilty about going out and like you know thinking about ideas for my videos and stuff like that and you know thinking up ideas for like skits that I could do and you know just so I could you know have some funny content on YouTube on my comedy channel if you want to check it out you know it's gonna be there's gonna be a link at the end of the video, you know. Little self promotion right there. Well, it's my blog channel, so self promotion anyway. So, pretty much, I'm in a whole bunch of pain. But that's basically a constant thing. I. Don't like it, but I was I was gonna say, but who doesn't like pain? I mean, I mean, but who does like pain? Ugh, God, see, that's how you know I'm tired. Anyway, I was gonna say, but who likes pain? And then I realized that some people do like pain. Some people enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, in certain contests, contexts, God, I didn't sleep. In certain contexts, yes. Certain levels, like, I mean, a little nipple here and there is it's not horrible. I mean, you know. But. There are certain things that are just, wow. Like, I mean, I guess people with a higher pain tolerance, especially if they have a really high pain tolerance, and to them, feeling a whip is basically like a little nibble to me. So... Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you want to enjoy what you want to enjoy, just enjoy it, <laughs> basically. Eh. As long as it's not illegal, as long as it's not hurting anybody, as long as it's not traumatizing anybody, trust me, that is horrible, 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 and that's all I'm going to say about it. 
But if you, as long as you're not hurting anybody, you're not traumatizing anybody, and it's not illegal, then I say do what you want to do. Do what you want. As long as everybody's consenting. As long as whoever's involved is consenting, then I don't know how this video ended up talking about sex. BDSM. It's strange. But if you're watching this, you already know that. So. Whatever. <laughs> um. I was thinking. I'm gonna go to sleep. Because I'm tired. Clearly. Um. Sleep is important, especially if you have epilepsy. And I don't know why I didn't go to sleep earlier. Well, I do. Is that my sense? <sighs> Having some talk. Having some talk. That's really weird. Weird set of words. <sighs> my brain. My brain is strange. It's a strange thing. But essentially, my brain is calling itself strange. So, does that make my brain self-deprecating? Okay, so I love you guys. If you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I see you there. Be sure to tell your friends. I see you watching you. Tell your friends. That's where it's not true. And be sure to check out my other channels. My comedy channel. And my health channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays. And my health channel for tips on tricks and being vegan. And to learn more about my advocacy. And also, November is uh, Epilepsy Awareness Month, so go over there to learn more on basically the struggles of being epileptic that you might not know were struggles. So, I love you guys. Mm -hmm.